Hello everybody, this is Talon with the next Nutrition Tier List, a series where I break down all the options in a given food group and rank them based on how nutritious they are and how they impact your health. Today we're taking the most popular fruits and stacking them up against each other to find out which ones are the very best and which ones are just good, because I'm going to tell you straight up there isn't a bad fruit on this list. So what really separates fruits as a food group is their higher concentrations of fiber, water, antioxidants, and natural sugars with lower glycemic indexes. So we're going to be keeping an eye out for the fruits that excel with these, but also the ones that have benefits that go beyond these. Again, I think you'll be hard pressed to find an unhealthy fruit, but as I'm sure you'll discover today, some have a lot more to offer than others. So, looking at the tiers for this video, we're going to be comparing the nutritional content and benefits of each fruit against any shortcomings or health concerns that they may have. Keep in mind that these lists are ranked independent of each other, so an A-tier fruit may not equate to an A-tier meat or an A-tier vegetable. All numerical nutritional information on this list and across this series is based on 100 grams of the individual food, for the sake of consistency and ease of comparison. And before we start, go ahead and let me know down in the comments what's your favorite fruit and what tier do you think it'll land in? And with all that out of the way, it's time to, once again, reap the fruits of my labor and get to the list. First on this list, we've got the ever-iconic apple. Apples are an average caloried fruit, somewhat higher in sugar, with a mild micronutrient profile. Now, the main thing to mention about apples is its antioxidants. These include, but are not limited to, vitamin C and flavonoids like quercetin, catechin, and chlorogenic acid, which are shown to have various health benefits like anti-inflammatory and antiviral effects, lowering of blood sugar, and improvement of cognitive function. Apples are also a solid source of fiber, contributing to feelings of satiety and digestive health, and they're linked with a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. There's nothing really wrong with apples, but they do offer far less than a majority of the fruits on this list, so I'm going to put them in the C tier. Apricots are an average caloried fruit with a decent micronutrient content. As far as fruits go, they're a pretty solid source of beta-carotene, a precursor to vitamin A, an antioxidant mainly known for its eye preservation benefits. Apricots also contain vitamin C, vitamin E, and a variety of polyphenol antioxidants that are shown to help combat chronic diseases. As a whole, apricots are shown to improve skin, gut, and liver health as well. A completely healthy fruit that falls a bit short nutritionally compared to most others. I'm going to put apricots in the C tier. Avocados are a higher caloried fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. The majority of its calories come from fat, about 15% of its total volume, and the main fatty acid is the omega-9 oleic acid. Oleic acid is shown to be heart healthy, positively impacting cholesterol, while lowering blood pressure and the risk of chronic diseases. Avocados are also very high in fiber per gram compared to most fruits, which aids with satiety and gut health. They're also a good source of several micronutrients, vitamin K, folate, vitamin B5, potassium, and vitamin B6. And they're rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatories, including carotenoids, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Overall, avocados might just be the most nutritious fruit on this list, earning it a spot in the top tier. Bananas are an average caloried fruit with a decent micronutrient profile. Bananas are a solid source of vitamin B6, manganese, and potassium, and a notable source of the antioxidants vitamin C and catechin, which are shown to boost immune health and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Bananas are also high in fiber, notably pectin, which when paired with bananas resistant starch is great for gut health. Overall, bananas are a fine fruit, most often being used for energy, but they come with some significant benefits outside of that. I'm going to put them in the B tier. Blackberries are a lower caloried fruit with an impressive micronutrient profile. Blackberries are among the best fruit sources of antioxidants, the most notable being vitamin C and anthocyanins, which combat the effects of free radicals and improve blood vessel health. They're a great source of fiber per calorie, overall benefiting digestive health, while also being a solid source of manganese and vitamin K. Blackberries are also shown to improve brain health and have oral antibacterial benefits. Overall, blackberries are one of the healthiest fruits out there, and they're going to be landing safely in the top tier. Blueberries are an average caloried fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. Blueberries are believed to have one of the highest concentrations of antioxidants of any fruit. These include quercetin, myrosetin, vitamin C, and various anthocyanins, all shown to boost immune function and heart health, reduce oxidative damage in DNA, and help prevent chronic diseases. Blueberries are also a solid source of vitamin K and manganese, and are shown to lower blood sugar and blood pressure levels. They're also shown to help prevent cognitive decline and reduce muscle recovery time. Overall, blueberries are an antioxidant bomb, contributing to health in ways most fruits cannot replicate. They're going to be going in the top tier. 
Cantaloupe is a lower calorie fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. It's very high in carotenoids, which get converted into vitamin A. These include beta-carotene, lutein, zeaxanthin, and beta-cryptoxanthin. They contribute antioxidant effects, also notably aiding eye health. Cantaloupe is also high in vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant that boosts immune, heart, and skin health. They're also shown to decrease blood pressure and the risk of heart disease. Cantaloupe is, at the end of the day, a healthy and nutritious fruit that I'm going to put in the A tier. Cherries are an average caloried fruit with a mild micronutrient profile. They're packed with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds, notably polyphenols that manage the body's blood-related activities, but also vitamin C. Cherries are shown to alleviate muscle damage and aid in post-workout recovery, decreasing exercise-induced pain. They're also shown to improve sleep quality due to melatonin as well as heart health and ease inflammation and symptoms of arthritis. Now, cherries are actually pretty high in sugar compared to most fruits, but overall they are a unique choice that I'm going to put in the B tier. Coconut is a higher caloried fruit with an impressive micronutrient profile. The majority of its calories come from fat, about 34% of its total makeup, mainly medium-chain saturated fatty acids, specifically lauric acid. Lauric acid has been linked with several health benefits, including fat loss, reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease, antimicrobial and antifungal properties, improved brain function, and it's uniquely often used for energy, more resembling carbohydrates. Coconut is a good source of manganese, copper, selenium, iron, and phosphorus, and it's a solid source of fiber, mainly insoluble, being a digestive aid. Now, coconut is very highly caloric, so you shouldn't eat too much, but overall, I'm going to put it in the B tier. Cranberries are a lower caloried fruit with a good micronutrient content. It's a good source of fiber, mainly insoluble, which passes through and aids with digestion. Cranberries are also a solid source of manganese and several antioxidants, including vitamin C, quercetin, myrosetin, peanidin, and ursolic acid, which contribute an anti-inflammatory effect and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. But the main distinguisher of cranberries is their proanthocyanidins a type of phytonutrient that helps combat UTIs, urinary tract infections, but also helps prevent stomach cancer by ridding of certain harmful bacteria. Now, cranberries may contain higher amounts of oxalates, which when built up may lead to kidney stones, but overall cranberries are a unique and healthy fruit that I'm going to put in the A tier. Deglet nor dates are a higher calorie fruit with a decent micronutrient profile. Per gram, they're very high in fiber, promoting regular bowel movement, and they're a good source of potassium, manganese, magnesium, and copper, as well as antioxidants, flavonoids, carotenoids, and phenolic acid, which help prevent chronic diseases. Dates are also shown to promote brain health, bone health, and blood sugar regulation. The problem is, dates are ridiculously high in sugar, and past a certain point, they will do more harm than good. In moderation, dates are just fine, but on a list where everything is great, the most sugary option feels like a natural pick for the D tier. Figs are a higher calorie fruit with a respectable micronutrient profile. Figs are very high in fiber, aiding with digestive health. They're a good source of several micronutrients, including manganese, vitamin K, potassium, magnesium, calcium, copper, and iron. Their polyphenols help prevent cellular damage, and they're shown to manage blood pressure and blood sugar levels. The issue is, figs are also very high in sugar, so they are best in moderation. A nutritious pick that you can definitely have too much of, I'm going to put figs in the D tier. Grapes are an average caloried fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. They're a good source of manganese and vitamin K, and certain antioxidants, notably quercetin and resveratrol, which contribute to heart health and as an anti-inflammatory. Grapes are a natural source of melatonin, a sleep-regulating hormone, and they're shown to contribute antibacterial, antifungal, and brain-boosting effects. They are, however, a bit more sugary than your average fruit. Grapes are a good fruit, never one that you should hesitate to eat, and I'm going to put them in the B tier. Grapefruit is a lower calorie fruit with an impressive micronutrient profile. It's a great source of vitamin C, mainly contributing to immune health, and carotenoids which get converted into vitamin A and mainly contribute to eye health. But grapefruit also has several antioxidants beyond these, notably lycopene, which boosts heart and skin health and is an anti-cancer, and a variety of flavonoids that are anti-inflammatory and regulate blood pressure. Grapefruit also contains citric acid, which aids with nutrient absorption and prevention of kidney stones, and they're shown to improve insulin sensitivity. Now, this is very important. Grapefruit does inhibit an enzyme that is needed to metabolize many types of medications. So if you take any type of medication for cholesterol, blood pressure, heart heart rhythm, anti-infection, pain meds, blood thinners, anything medication related, make sure you double check it's safe before you have any grapefruit. 
However, for everyone else, this is one of the healthiest fruits on the market, and it's going to be landing in the top tier. Guava is an average calorie fruit with an impressive micronutrient profile. It's absurdly high in vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant that contributes to immune, skin, and heart health and helps combat chronic diseases. And beyond vitamin C, guava contains a respectable lineup of other antioxidants, including quercetin, ferulic acid, gallic acid, and caffeic acid, all protecting against cell damage and chronic diseases in their own ways. Guava is also a solid source of fiber, aiding digestive health by feeding gut bacteria. They're also shown to lower blood sugar levels. Though a bit lopsided, guava is one of the most nutritious fruits on this list, and I'm going to put it in the top tier. Honeydew is a low-calorie fruit with a decent micronutrient profile. It's a solid source of the vitamin C antioxidant, and it's shown to improve bone health and lower blood pressure. Honeydew is perfectly fine, it just doesn't have quite as much going on as other fruits, and for that, I'm going to put it in the C tier. Kiwi is an average caloried fruit with a great micronutrient profile. It's an excellent source of vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant contributing to immune, skin, and heart health, as well as a good source of vitamin K. Kiwis are also rich in antioxidants, vitamin E, carotenoids, and various polyphenols which further protect the body's cells. Kiwis are a solid source of fiber and are shown to lower blood pressure. They're also high in serotonin, which is shown to regulate mood and sleep. Kiwi fruit is almost always one of the best in every possible way that you could measure fruits, and for that, I'm going to put it in the top tier. Lemons are a very low-calorie fruit with a lopsided micronutrient profile. That's because the only micronutrient lemons really have to offer is the antioxidant vitamin C, but it's definitely not the only antioxidant at play. Others include diosmin and hesperidin shown to mainly improve blood vessel health, limonene, which contributes anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and wound healing effects, and various flavonoids that further provide anti-inflammatory effects. Lemon also contains citric acid, which can aid with iron absorption and help prevent kidney stones. Now, citric acid in excess can lead to tooth decay and various other bodily irritations. But in safe amounts, lemons are an entirely unique fruit with but one exception that I'm going to put in the A tier. Limes are a very low-calorie fruit with a decent micronutrient profile, and they're very similar to lemons in most every aspect. They're a solid source of the antioxidant vitamin C and various other antioxidants like limonene, camphorol, and quercetin, which help prevent cell damage, inflammation, and chronic diseases. They also contain citric acid, aiding with iron absorption and helping to prevent kidney stones. Again, too much citric acid can lead to various issues including dental decay, but limes are too good and unique to overlook, and they're going to be joining their sour cousins in the A tier. Mangoes are an average calorie fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. They're a good source of vitamin C and beta-carotene, which the body converts into vitamin A, and various other antioxidants like catechin, gallic acid, camphorol, anthocyanins, and especially mangarifen. These lead to mangoes boosting heart, immune, and digestive health. Mangoes are a bit higher in sugar than most fruits, but overall they're very beneficial. I'm going to put them in the B tier. Nectarines are an average calorie fruit with a subpar micronutrient profile. They contain a variety of antioxidants, flavonoids, anthocyanins, and vitamin C, which combat cellular damage and chronic diseases. And nectarines are shown to improve heart and digestive health. The thing is, compared to most fruits, nectarines don't have nearly as much to offer. And for that, I'm going to put them in the D tier. Green olives are a higher calorie fruit with a mild micronutrient profile. The majority of olives' calories come from fat, about 15% of its total makeup, mainly monounsaturated fats, shown to reduce inflammation and combat the risk of heart disease and cancer. They're a good source of antioxidants, notably vitamin E, which is associated with skin health, tyrosol, a notable anti-cancer, quercetin, which is shown to boost heart health and combat chronic diseases, and oleanolic acid, which has anti-inflammatory and liver protective properties. Olives are also shown to improve bone health. Now, green olives are often packaged high in sodium for those who need to watch out for that, and when processed, they may contain acrylamide, a leftover from processing and a potential carcinogen. Olives are good, but have a few potential issues in their more practical forms. I'm going to put them in the C tier. Oranges are a lower calorie fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. They're a good source of folate, but most of orange's benefits come from its antioxidants. Of course, vitamin C, which is shown to improve immune and heart health and act as an anti-cancer, but also various flavonoids, most notably hesperidin, which lowers blood pressure and has anti-inflammatory effects, and naringenin, which aids with blood vessel function. Oranges also contain carotenoids, including beta-cryptoxanthin and lycopene, which is notable for its heart health benefits. Overall, a solid and healthy fruit, I'm going to put oranges in the B tier. Papayas are a lower-calorie fruit with an impressive micronutrient profile. 
They're a great source of vitamin C and a good source of folate and carotenoids, most notably lycopene, which improves heart health, removes oxidative stress, and acts as an anti-cancer. Papayas also contain the enzyme papain, which aids with protein digestion and IBS treatment. Now, papain has been shown to potentially cause throat, esophagus, or stomach irritation, but overall, in terms of nutrition, papayas are a notch above most, and I'm going to put them in the A tier. Peaches are a lower calorie fruit with a subpar micronutrient profile. They do contain a notable amount of antioxidants, flavonoids, anthocyanins, phenolic acid, and vitamin C, all of which contribute to immune health and the combating of chronic diseases. And peaches as a whole are shown to improve heart, skin, and gut health. But overall, peaches are just one of those fruits that doesn't have quite as much to offer. And for that, I'm going to put them in the D tier. Pears are an average calorie fruit with a subpar micronutrient profile. They are, as a whole, shown to improve digestive health and bowel regularity. Pears procyanidin antioxidants boost heart health and fight inflammation while lowering blood pressure and the risk of chronic diseases. A healthy fruit that pales in comparison nutritionally to most everything on this list. I'm going to put pears in the D tier. Pineapple is an average calorie fruit with an impressive micronutrient profile. They're a solid source of manganese, which is needed for bone formation and proper metabolism, and pineapples are loaded with antioxidants, vitamin C of course, but also a variety of flavonoids and phenolic compounds that boost immune and heart health. Pineapples uniquely contain bromelain, a group of enzymes shown to aid with digestion and post-exercise muscle recovery, and have anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, and anti-arthritic effects. Now, too much bromelain may cause digestive issues and may negatively impact people on blood thinners, but overall, pineapple is one of the healthiest fruits available, and I'm going to put it in the top tier. Plums are a lower calorie fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. They're a good source of vitamin C, vitamin K, and carotenoids. And plums are higher in polyphenols than most fruits, which are shown to improve bone and heart health, lower blood pressure and blood sugar levels, and have anti-inflammatory properties. A healthy, yet unspectacular fruit, I'm going to put plums in the B tier. Pomegranates are an average calorie fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. They're a good source of vitamin K, but where pomegranates really shine is with the variety of antioxidants they provide. These include punicalogens, a notable anti-inflammatory, a variety of polyphenols that lower blood pressure and fight plaque buildup in arteries, vitamin C, and elegitinins, which benefit brain health and help prevent Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Pomegranates are also shown to have antibacterial benefits, be beneficial for gut bacteria, be a strong anti-cancer, and reduce the risk of kidney stones. Now, pomegranates do have a bit more sugar than most fruits, but overall they just offer too much for me to not put them in the top tier. Pumpkin is a very low-calorie fruit with an impressive micronutrient profile. They're extremely high in carotenoids, antioxidants that often get converted into vitamin A. These include beta-carotene, lutein, and zeaxanthin, which are most known for eye health and preservation, and alpha-carotene and beta-cryptoxanthin, which also aid with skin health. Pumpkin is also a good source of vitamin K and is shown to improve heart, digestive, and immune health. It also protects against sun damage and protein breakdown and contains citrulline, an amino acid shown to improve athletic performance. Overall, pumpkin is one of the healthiest and most nutritious fruits out there and should be eaten more consistently. It's going to go in the top tier. Raspberries are an average calorie fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. They're very fibrous, aiding digestive health by benefiting gut bacteria. And they're a great source of manganese and various antioxidants including vitamin C, quercetin, which is known for combating chronic diseases, and elagic acid, a notable anti-inflammatory. Raspberries are also shown to regulate blood sugar and improve symptoms of arthritis. Overall, raspberries are a very healthy fruit that I'm going to put in the A tier. Butternut squash is a lower calorie fruit with an impressive micronutrient profile. It's a great source of carotenoids, notably beta-carotene, alpha-carotene, and beta-cryptoxanthin, which as a whole boost eye health, bone health, and immune health. Squash is also a good source of vitamin C and is shown to combat heart disease, cancer, and cognitive decline. Overall, a very nutritious and beneficial fruit that I'm going to put in the A tier. Strawberries are a lower calorie fruit with a respectable micronutrient profile. They're a good source of manganese, fiber, and antioxidants, notably vitamin C, procyanidins, and pelargonidin, which are most known for boosting heart health, and elagic acid, which has antibacterial and anti-cancer properties. They're also shown to be great for blood sugar regulation. Now, strawberry allergies are fairly common, especially in younger children, but overall they're a very healthy pick that I'm going to put in the A tier. Tangerines are an average calorie fruit with a solid micronutrient profile. They're a good source of vitamin C, an antioxidant most known for its immune and skin health benefits. 
Tangerines also offer several other antioxidants. Beta-cryptoxanthin, a carotenoid, and various flavonoids including naringenin, hesperitin, and nobilitin, which are shown to boost skin, brain, and heart health and have antimicrobial properties. Overall, a very solid and healthy fruit that I'm going to put in the B tier. Tomatoes are a very low-calorie fruit with a respectable micronutrient profile. They're a solid source of vitamin K, but the main thing tomatoes have to offer is antioxidants. The primary one being lycopene, which has various benefits including improved heart health, skin health, cholesterol lowering, and prevention from sun damage. But tomatoes also have a fair amount of vitamin C, beta-carotene, naringenin, and chlorogenic acid, which further boost heart, immune, and eye health. Overall, a very healthy and versatile pick, I'm going to put tomatoes in the A tier. Watermelon is a lower caloried fruit with a mild micronutrient profile. It's a decent source of vitamin C, but its most notable benefits go beyond macro or micronutrients. These include lycopene, which benefits skin and heart health and acts as an anti-inflammatory, and the amino acid citrulline, which is shown to improve exercise performance. Watermelon is also shown to lower blood pressure and improve insulin sensitivity. As a whole, watermelon is not the most nutritious fruit out there, but its benefits are unique and undeniable. I'm going to put it in the B tier. Zucchini is a very low calorie fruit with a decent micronutrient profile. It's a good source of carotenoids, lutein, zeaxanthin, and beta carotene, overall benefiting eye, skin, and heart health and acting as an anti-cancer. Zucchini is also shown to be good for digestive health and thyroid function. A good fruit that just doesn't have quite as much going on, zucchini is going to be rounding out our list in the C tier. As I alluded to earlier, there isn't a bad fruit on this list. While some are more nutrient dense than others, by a lot, very rarely is grabbing a fruit a bad idea. And that's pretty much the key to fruits as a whole, they're never the main course in a meal and you can almost always find ways to mimic their nutritional functions, but there's no denying that they are the best at what they do. Probably consistently the healthiest food group that could be a positive piece to the puzzle of anyone's diet. Fruits are always going to be a treat that you can feel good about eating. Now if you enjoyed the video, or at the very least learned a little something, I encourage you to subscribe because I have plenty more of these on the way. Go ahead and leave down in the comments what food group you think I should make a tier list for next. And remember that all I ask is that you do your own research and advocate for your body. You only get the one.